Today I will show you why you've been using reverb and delay the wrong way all this time and I'm also gonna share with you a better way to implement reverb and delay to your tracks without mudding up the mix. So for this example I'm gonna use a very simple melody I just made with FL Keys and it sounds like this. So the most common thing to do is to simply route FL keys to a mixer track and then add reverb straight to the mixer track. For example, I'm gonna add reverb 2 and this is how it sounds. But the more we tweak the reverb, like increasing the decay or playing with a wet knob, it's gonna sound way more muddy, like this example right here. Now someone would say to add an EQ after the reverb, but the problem is that by applying the EQ, we're also applying the EQ on the melody as well, and not just the reverb. But this is where the fire technique comes in. So what we're gonna do is remove reverb 2 from the FL keys track, and the place we're gonna add reverb is one of those sends right here. If you don't have send channels, what you can do is go to file, new from template, go to minimal, and choose empty with four cents and it's gonna create those scent channels to apply your own effects. In most cases you wanna use them for reverb and delay but you can also add different other effects like chorus and flanger. So I'm gonna pick this scent channel right here, I'm gonna rename it reverb just so we know what we're dealing with. And on that scent channel I'm gonna add reverb too. Now what I'm gonna do is take down the dry knob completely and I'm gonna reset the wet knob and it's gonna reset it at 100% and that way we only have the reverb signal on this channel. So any other effect that we are gonna implement on this channel right here is gonna affect the reverb only and not the rest of the melody. But before we go into that let me show you how to apply the reverb send to the FL keys. What I'm gonna do is go to the piano once again and I'm gonna see this knob right here. So the more I increase it the more amount of reverb we're gonna add. So I'm gonna go by ear and I'm gonna increase the knob until I get the desired result. Of course we can play with the reverb, I'm gonna go to the cathedral preset, I'm gonna make sure I take down the dry knob and increase the wet knob back at 100% and let's see how it's gonna sound right now. And here's where the fun part starts. I'm gonna go to my reverb send. And after the reverb, I'm gonna start by applying some EQ. And that way we can clean the reverb sound without affecting the rest of the melody. Now the most simple thing I'm gonna start with is by applying a low cut. And that way we are cleaning up the low end that was created from the reverb. After that I'm gonna add the fruity limiter and I'm gonna do a very nice trick with it. So once I have the fruity limiter I'm gonna go to the compression section, I'm gonna go to the side chain right here and I'm gonna pick the FL keys. So now I'm gonna take down the threshold and increase the ratio as well just a bit. And now every time the piano plays the reverb is gonna go down in volume and it's gonna be increased back again once the notes stop playing. Now obviously we need to go by ear and visually as well on the graph to get the perfect result. Now obviously you don't need to go that hard, but it's a really nice technique, it's especially used on vocals. And yeah, now let me show you what we can do with the delay as well. So I'm gonna pick a new send channel and I'm gonna add delay 3. I'm gonna set it to the ping pong preset which is my favorite. I'm gonna take down the dry knob, the wet knob is already at 100%. So now what I'm gonna do is go back to the FL keys track and I will choose this knob and increase it until I get the result that I like. Then on the delay send track, I'm gonna add EQ once again. I 
I don't think we need the side chain at this case, but it's up to you honestly. What I'm gonna add for sure though is this stereo enhancer plugin that comes stock with FL. I'm gonna increase this knob right here to separate it a bit more from the melody and to make the delay sound very wide. Okay, so that was for today's vid. Make sure you use those techniques in case your mix sounds a bit muddy. And yeah, if you found it useful, make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Peace.